Now you have completed the sign up process for your Google Cloud account and you have activated the free credits. Now let me give you a small tour of our Google Cloud console which will be really useful for upcoming chapters. So here onto the screen you can see this is the default home page of your Google Cloud account. And the first thing which I would like you to show over here is the project because everything or anything which you want to deploy onto the Google Cloud has to be a part of a certain project and where you can find those those project details onto the Google Cloud console. So here onto the screen on uh, your home page of Google Cloud, you will find your my first project. Since we have done the sign up, so this is the default project which Google has created for you. And if you want to create your own new project or if you want to navigate around different project, then this is the section where you need to click on. So here, let's click on this particular uh, option where you can see your current project and then it will open a new window over here. So here you can see this is the window and here you can see your recent project, which is this one. And there are two things which is really important for you. One is the project name, which you can see over here. And this is the project ID, which you can see over here. So the project name and project ID. So ID can be a unique thing and project name can be a custom useful name, which you can keep it for your project. And here, this is the single project which we have got so far or which exists into this particular account. So that's why it is only the one project which is visible over here. So if I uh, wipe these arrows, then here on the one more thing, like there is an all section which you can see over here. So once you click on that particular all uh, tab over here, then here you will find all the projects which are available into your Google Cloud account. Since it's a fresh account, so this is the first project which is visible over here. And here uh, in the middle, you will find a star section. So if you want to bookmark or if you want to put a star or onto some of the project which you use very frequently, then those projects will be visible over here. Let me show you how you can do that. So go to all tab over here and click on this star icon. And after once you start, then that project will be visible over here. So this is something which you can do for your favorite projects. All right. After that, there is a search option over here. So suppose in case your Google Cloud account has hundreds of projects, then this is the search uh, bar where you can search for your project. So you can go here and simply search on like a my first, sorry, my first project. So here it will just start popping and filtering out those projects. So this is the first simple step to navigate around the projects which is already existing in your Google Cloud account. Now moving to the next component on the Google Cloud console on the left hand side you will find this hamburger icon which is these three horizontal lines over here and this is a navigation menu where we are having multiple services listed over here. So if you click on this particular icon on the left hand side which we call it as a hamburger menu then here you will see quite a lot of different services which you can I either pin it and uh, these pinned services will be available or directly available into this particular section all the time. But if you want to navigate around different services, then this is the hamburger menu or the navigation uh, like a panel which you can use. So for example, if you want to go and take a look onto IAM and admin services, for example, what are the IAM roles and users which are present into the Google Cloud, then you can just go and click on IAM and that will take you to the IAM section over here. So this is the uh, navigation uh, option or the hamburger uh, navigation menu, which is available for you to use. Similarly, if you want to jump around, for example, let's say cloud storage, then you can go and click on that particular option link, and then it will take you to the buckets and different uh, uh, like uh, storage, which you have created inside your Google Cloud account. Since this is a fresh account, so everything is blank over here. So yeah, this is the navigation uh, menu for your consumption. So feel free to 
pin uh, some of the services which you use quite frequently and there are many services if you want to click on view all products over here then here you will find quite a lot of services which are available from a google cloud uh, which you can jump around and take a look on those services the third and important component onto this uh, google cloud console is the search option over here on the top so this is the universal search bar which is present onto your home page of your google cloud and this search uh, bar will be present on all of the services so that you can easily jump and open any of the services where you are trying to work upon so for example if i want to search for example virtual machine then i can simply type virtual machine over here and here you will find a first option which is popping is the vm instances so you can just go and click on this vm instances over here and it will take you to the VM or the compute service of a Google Cloud, which you can see over here. So I need to enable it because this is the fresh account. So I need to enable that particular service for consumption. Okay. And similarly, if you want to look for, for example, uh, let's say Cloud Run, then you can just search and click on Cloud Run and it will take you to the Cloud Run uh, service page or the home page of the Cloud Run, which you can see over here. And still this uh, search bar will still be uh, there. So you can search for any other services as well so yeah try to use that particular search bar to navigate around and open the other services of our google cloud the next powerful feature from the google cloud console is the terminal or the powershell which you can use from the browser itself and here on the browser on the top right section you will see this particular icon through which you can open your terminal or a powershell so just close this uh, arrow and then click on this particular uh, icon over here which denotes the command line or the terminal so here as soon as you will click on this particular icon then it will open a terminal for you and that's where you can use uh, various G Cloud command as well as a Linux or a bash scripting from your browser through which you can just interact with the different Google Cloud services. For example, if I would like to run a G Cloud auth list, then it will show me like who is the authorized person to use this particular Google Cloud. So here you can see this is the account through which I have registered. Similarly, I can also run the command G Cloud projects list over here. And it will show me how many projects I have present inside my Google Cloud account. So here you can see these are the projects uh, which is available inside my Google Cloud account, which is my first project. So this is the terminal where you can uh, run quite a lot of different utility commands to interact with your Google Cloud services. So yes, uh, this particular feature we are going to explore more uh, further down into our more uh, like a complex chapter. But yeah, this is the terminal which is available for you where you have a quite a good utilities available for example uh, git is also available over here and here you can run all the normal bash scripting commands as well as bash script to interact with our google cloud services